Hey, welcome to our channel, and today we're going to be doing some Blight gameplay in Dead by Daylight. This video will consist of how to use his power effectively, as well as to move around the map. Now, in my opinion, the Blight is actually a, a severely underrated character. You know, he has so much potential in, you know, um, pressuring gens, as well as having an effective um, movement in the chase. For example, here, uh, actually, yeah, see, they're harder here. Oh, man. Hold on. Okay, now we got him, see? Let's see? Okay, let's pick him up and hopefully we find another survivor and we can show our powers. So let's let's put him on this hook over here. Hopefully it's not, you know, <clears throat> they're not too far away. Okay, so we got, uh, I believe it's Kate. Let's see how we do against her. Oh yeah, she was not gonna make the pallet. For sure. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Kate. That was fairly easy. Um, I expected her to, you know, loop around more, be, be more smart about it, but All right, nice. So we got a hook on her. First hook. Okay, see now, see look, the reason why I like the blight is that you can, you know, run around, you know, check. I'm pretty sure there's actually gonna be around someone. There's gonna be someone around here. Let's make sure. Okay, yeah. So there's nobody around. So, oh, instead of going for him, they went for Kate. That's interesting. Oh, here we go. We got the, um, oh, that was a way miscalculation. <laughs> okay. What she's doing right now is actually a really bad idea because it's not allowing the other teammates to uh, pick up, I mean, to rescue the other survivors that's in the hook. Let's see. Okay, watch this. I'm gonna try something. Ooh, the jackpot. Jackpot. See? This is what I'm talking about with the blight. And cases like this, he's super effective, you know? If I, if I was some other killer, it would have taken probably, you know, a, a minute more or something. So, let's put her on the basement hook and let's look for the other survivor. Now, I'm guessing that they're healing, but we're going to go back to the same spot where I hooked them. They're probably nearby. They shouldn't be that far. Yep, just as I expected. Let's hit the cake. Okay, I believe she wants to loop around these windows. Oh, we caught her off guard. Yeah, she is not going to make that. Oh, and I see the other guy going, again, going to the basement for the rescue. Let's see if we can get a, a good hit on him. He probably has borrowed time. Oh wait, what? Huh? Oh wait, I'm confused. I think I messed up. <laughs> oh wait, they never. Oh, they already rescued him. Oh, that's that's my bad. That's my bad. Okay. Yep. And they're trying to heal her up to the injured state. Again, he's not gonna make that. <laughs> that happened twice. All right, let's see here. Let's pick her up and put her on the hook. Just to apply more pressure for the team. Okay, pretty sure we can make it to the basement. Okay. Now we have two injured survivors, which is uh, pretty good. They might be healing right now instead of doing generators. I think I should use my powers to get around, but let's check this generator on, their le on the left. Yep, got the mag. Let's see how we do here. Okay. Ooh, yeah, nice. This is what I love about him, see? That's just another great example. Okay, we got the other guy. Oh, there you go. Nice, see? A another great example here. He just, like, the blight is just so unpredictable in chases sometimes. And when you get uh, good add-ons on him, like the one add-on is that it immediately faces a survivor after hitting after uh, hitting an object that helped me a lot in this case and also one piece of advice that i want to give to new players of the blight is that uh don't use your powers uh, like in unnecessary cases where you know you can obviously get the m1 hits um oh and oh that hard again <laughs> okay oh borrow time what did i say but yeah um only use your powers whenever you like 
in the complex situation. Uh, let's break the power right here. Okay, this. I'm gonna fake it. There you go. See, she went. She tried to go for this last light save, but it's all good. Let's see here. Oh yeah, she made a lot of distance, but I think we might be able to get her. Oh my god, that was bad of me. My bad. <laughs> yeah, something I gotta learn is you know to be patient with my hits, but. Okay, let's see here. There you go. We might be able to get the hit. Oh, nope. Okay, let's see. See, like, right here, I can probably use my power right here. Most likely not. See, like, right here, I use my power just, just to break the pallet right away. And not and not allow her to get as much distance. And right here, okay, I'm just being dumb. <laughs> okay, yeah. This, this is one of the things. Um... Uh, something I have to say is uh, I'm actually a fairly new player with the blight. Um, I but I actually feel like I'm gaining a lot of uh, like knowledge with this character. Okay, so now we're gonna go with. This. Oh my god. Okay, there you go. <laughs> I really gotta fix that. But okay, let's see how we. Do. Oh yeah, that's very smart with it. Like right here, I think I should have just chased her normally instead of, you know, try to go with my power. So that's a lot of wasted time. But okay, so we have her. So why not just knock her down? Yep, remember the death hard. Okay, pick her up. I think she's on last hook. I think. Oh yeah. Okay. So now we got. Two more survivors left. Both are injured. They gave us an oh, mind when healed up. Um, yeah, like right here. Um, for some reason, sometimes whenever you're trying to bump into something, it just slides over it. It's just, it's like uh, it's like a glitch, but you know, uh, just to avoid that, just make sure that you're right in front of the object. Okay, let's look for these two people. They're probably he oh no, they're already both healed, so probably gonna get in the generator soon. Let's see here. Oh wait, I think I see something. Ah, oh my god. All right, let's see. See, like right here, you shouldn't really use your power, you know. Um, I can you just go for the regular hit. I think. Oh. oh. Okay. I think the mag went that way. I might be able to get her. Okay, yeah. see the right here. I'm using your power to catch up. I might not be able to get the hit, but I'm barely getting close to her. Yeah, but this mega that was that was a mistake on my part. But she's also very smart against going the blight against going against the blight. But let's see here. Okay, like now I'm not gonna use my powers anymore, especially on this tile. So we're just gonna go for the straightforward approach. Pick the pallet. This one's troublesome. Oh, I think we got her right here. That one? Okay, yeah. One hit. Yeah, but this Meg is really smart. And, uh, oh, yeah. It's, it's, sometimes it's very hard to control the Blight while he's, uh, you know, dashing. Oh, wait. I think... Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> I got bamboozled by her. <laughs> I'm going to try some. I doubt it, but I highly doubt I'm gonna get this. Yeah. Well, at least I'm getting points for it. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Oh my. Yeah, you know what? This is why I have to just break this. Yeah, let's just break these for future future chases. The other guy's probably doing the generator right now, so she's doing a good job wasting wasting time and keeping uh, my focus on her while the other character is doing the generator. Okay, that's the, oh, oh, there she is. Now, I'm not going to lie. This Meg has got me confused. Maybe I'm just blind, but <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's see. Oh, she's over there. I'm not gonna use my power this time because oh wait, oh, did not mean to do that. That's my apologies. Oh wait, oh 
<laughs> How did that work, man? Whatever. I think she thought that I was faking it, but this whole time I was just accidentally hit the, the hit button. Okay, I believe she's in on hit. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, um, let's go look for the Steve. He's probably waiting at hatch. I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised. The thing I actually like about the blight is that, like, um, whenever there's one survivor left and the hatch is open, you can use your power and just zoom across the map. You can be from one side of the map to the other in, like, like six seconds. It's crazy. Okay, I think he might be over here. Let's see. Yep, scratch marks, and uh, I think he's like, he got the hatch, I can hear it. Yeah, why not, let's get a little bit of value of that. <laughs> well, yeah, that's that's it for this gameplay. I hope you guys learned something, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.